A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. And this is a collective channeling session. So we just want to know what's happening in the community today. What type of energies are at its peak and what is it that we all need to work on? Because we all have divine masculine and feminine energies and the actual twin flame energy creates gets created when the merge of masculine and feminine happens that's a very powerful very pure and very sacred energy okay so let's get started and let's see what's happening let's ask for protection for all of us <clears throat> let's just make a prayer So friends, what I can see over here is that the energy is whether it's you, whether it's someone else, whether it's masculine or feminine, there's a common energy today and common theme is going on. And ha has it ever happened to you also that you feel that no matter how much you do and how nice you are and how giving you are, caring you are and you're going out of your way, but still you're not getting appreciated. Not only that, you're getting compared with people who are really below you. And you feel that, you know, when you look at the others or when you look at those people who are not even making that many efforts, you feel that these people are getting far more support, acceptance. And if they get angry, so this is what I see here, that if, if, if you get upset, sad, angry, low, and it's not your fault, then why nobody comes to convince you? Why nobody comes to, you know, like pamper you? Why nobody comes to take care of you, love you, and make you understand the whole situation? Because see, misunderstandings can happen anywhere, anywhere. But the theme that I feel here is that somebody is going through this very deep, emotion very very deep emotion and it's not that one person is going it it's a collective energy now the universe is also saying that you need to be in balance you need to love yourself you need to recognize yourself but then practically how do you do it you also feel that people there are people who who know that you're better who know that you're good and you know, they know that you're a good person, you're a kind hearted person, you have a soft corner, you basically are going to stand by them, you're a loyal person, you can do anything for people. But instead of appreciating that quality, and this was given to me last night also that instead of appreciating your loyalty, your compassion, your beauty, your niceness, they look at you like a monster or they look at you like a like a really bad person, like how is it that they are so blind towards you, towards your goodness or towards whatever you are doing for them. And no matter how many efforts you've been making for them, they are literally blind towards, towards it. But okay, they don't appreciate, they don't accept, they don't speak about it, which is also wrong because technically what they should do is that they should listen to you they don't want you to lead basically. That's how I see it here. They don't want you to lead this whole situation. Or they feel like, uh, why am I below this person? So there is a huge amount of ego that I can sense, a lot of ego. And when people have ego, when people have, you know, that feeling that, you know, what is a true leader? A true leader is a person who looks at all people's positive energies. They don't focus on negative energy of anyone. And they will do the best from those positive aspects. And they can uplift and they can shape up. In some cases, you know, they don't see other people as separate. So in some cases, <clears throat> say if someone has better communication or someone has something better than them also, they are not going to take it like, Oh, why is this person better than me? Or why does this person have this quality? 
or why we should listen to this person why why should i listen to this person and do as per this person you know like you don't have to do literally everything as per other people but you can at least listen to them acknowledge them so i can sense that there is a deep there are there are two strong energies one energy is that a person is really fed up fed up of being the nice person fed up of being the one who supports fed up of being loyal and despite all these good things they don't get any like respect they don't get like any uh motivation also see because life is full of negative situations there's always going to be some struggle or the other right there's always going to be some challenge or the other in life so what are you supposed to do are you supposed to bow down to the challenges are you supposed to give up on the challenges are you supposed to be like okay you know these are all challenges so i can't deal with it and you get negative about it no you can't do that that's not the right way to go about things you need to understand that there are challenges and i have this person with me i have this person with me or i have this resource with me or this is my strong suit or these are the things i need to work on or the people who are in opposition with me these people have this going on and that going on so i need to like literally not focus on that i need to also think about how you know they can uh, be ruled out completely cuz they are not the ones who should be you know up there on the throne in the first place okay it also looks like that somebody has done so much inner work that they don't get affected by negativity anymore like this is a very good sign because this is what i was given you know like how is this person this person has gained this type of level this is not an easy place to be in but if you get into this level then i don't think you know all the cards that have negative energy here or you know that speak about the challenges will have any impact trust me no matter what type of other situations because even the other cards are not you know like they are mixed basically because they are talking about as i said two different feelings so there are two different feelings and we have only one divine card so when you have one divine card in a reading in a channeling like this it means that no matter what situations you go through but this is going to be the real deal the person is actually turning into a real deal type of a person so what is the other energy there are two opposing energy one is a person who is like continuously focusing on negative things and they are not a bad person but the querent or the seeker is not able to explain it to them that hey stop being negative don't be so negative because if you're going to be negative you're going to attract more of it the problem is that they are not understanding it like that until and unless they see it physically happening and only you can show that to them like say they get into a negative situation with you but you don't care you just live your life you're happy you move on like this you move on like this and you don't let it affect you but this level comes after a certain level of mastery a certain level of certain level of work that you do and this is being shown to me like a test like this is a time of test for you or whosoever goes through it this is a time of test are shh relax 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 this is a time of test <laughs> so what it will do to you is like you have done a lot of inner work and now they are going to send you a person who is very nice loving loyal they have great great qualities but one of their worst quality or biggest quality which is not a good quality a negative quality is that they focus on negativity then they get drowned in it then they get like extremely like uh, stressed because of it and cuz you are connected with someone like that you also feel like what am i supposed to do now this is where your inner work is going to get tested cuz you have the opposing energy now you need to when you handle them or you tackle them you need to do the same like you need to do what you are good at that is ignoring negativity not wasting time on negativity not listening to them playing you know playing with situations not like you know getting too involved into it because this is not your work you know on planet earth you are not here to do 9 to 5 job you are not here to do what machines do you are not here to be mechanical monotonous you are here to be yourself you are here to 
you know stand out and your energy and now how does it all impact in the twin flame journey is that when you are able to handle the situation in real time your energy will become like really amazing it will go up so up that the person the people who are ignoring you or taking you for granted or misunderstanding you they will look at you as someone who's very attractive someone who stands out and they will think in their heads that oh my god i have been such a nice person and i have been treating this person so badly and they will suddenly make a 360 degree shift like a big biggest shift ever and you'll notice it you'll notice it like you for them are so amazing so attractive but they but you also you know you have to understand in the twin flame journey the feminines are also like that in the beginning when they are in polarized energies they also focus on negative energy a lot they also focus on what the boyfriend's mother is saying sister is saying neighbors are saying how doomed the relationship is what are the problems they don't focus on the good things and that's why the problems increase by the day so this person literally wants to be with you like this in this energy like they really want to run to you and i think for some people either you're going to get into a new relationship with someone who knows you very well like they have been watching you they have been watching you they've been i don't think it's like a typical no contact situation it's more like you just don't talk you know to that person maybe you had a fling with them maybe you had a relationship with them maybe you were just observing each other but this person can't get enough of you now like they want more and more and more and more of you and they are done just watching you like they don't want to watch you just they want more they want to talk to you they want to communicate with you they want to connect with you and you don't have to do anything so if you are listening to this and suddenly you listen to me and you go like oh let me message this person or let me call this person because they are in like then it means you have not done inner work yet because i was also shown that some people are not patient they look at their inner work and they go like when is it going to give me result so this is the thing this is coming from the polarity like the op opposing energies in the positive cards we have many positive cards we have this one in the positive so i took out like opposing mirror energies opposite polarity these are all look at this you know these are all very positive cards even this balance has been developed okay there's a big vision and queen of cups i see it like a neutral card for some reason and then we have this person who is completely focused on negativity they just don't care about what's happening in their life and then again another person who's literally running away escaping from negativity and just leaving like running away from the ground leaving the ground you know completely and in between we had this you know this is like an amazing reading you know because these type of readings and we have this in progression so after so much negativity what is universe's goal universe wants you to be this a happy go lucky child which has very nice very strong root energy full on solar plexus energy and this is the thing that will help you in the materialistic three dimensional reality when you ask me you know why my 3d life is like this that's because you don't have this type of confidence and this type of confidence does not come directly from 3d it comes from the inner work you do and then it helps you in 3d reality you have all the sunflower sunflower again is a symbolic of solar plexus energy you know so there is strong root even sacral is fully healed because the child the person is in child like energy energies they are on this horse you know horse is a uh, a sort of animal uh that is like a very positive again animal in this uh in the tarot world even unicorns horses unicorns dogs these are very like very like compassionate very loyal horses are extremely loyal they're just like big size dogs you know so the sacral is healed because the child 
can be uh, like a child child like and fully naked like you don't have to really take off your clothes to be naked i see a lot of celebrities they feel that freedom is in showing your skin nothing wrong in looking good i keep saying this but there's a thin line you can dress up the way you want you can look hot sexy amazing but what is that thing that drives you to do it is it because you love to dress up or is it because you want validation there's two different things actually right some of you may have even received signs like you're just walking on the road and you know people are literally bumping their cars into each other just to get a look of you or you're somewhere you're just standing posing taking pictures but there is there are like people just staring at you and i'm not talking people i'm talking about you know uh, somebody in the opposite sex it could be a girl it could be a guy and you have no access with this person completely random people random strangers you know but they are just going like wow looking at you they are just going like they have no control you are like the antenna they are drawn to some of the people are going to literally make you feel like you are the moon and there's a bird in hindi we call it chakor so this word chakor the bird chakor and the word chakor it means it's a bird that keeps circling around the moon or it is very attracted to the moon in fact here also sunflower is a sign of that again because sunflower is very drawn to sun uh it's always like wherever the sun is if it's sunrise it will be towards that side where it's sunset it will move towards you know where wherever the sunset is so these type of signs have been given to me in real time as well as in the reading as well as in the uh the intuitive reading that i'm doing right now and numerically also i was given the number 72 72 and i was given this number in a way that it was literally standing out okay so i was like this 72 72 is given to me for the first time actually so what could it mean 72 72 so when i checked out i was really surprised so i'm going to play what 72 72 means according to angel numbers meaning as with the number 1155 when you continue to see the number 7272 your guardian angels are telling you to trust the path you are taking Your instincts are guiding you and also your guardian angels. Just trust your intuition and your emotions because they will finally lead you to what is best for you and your future. Such a wonderful meaning. Like literally. So, for your personal situations, you can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com. Kindly go through the description box and only when you're sure that you want to book a therapy, Therapy is very intensive it's really helpful and in therapy the best part is that you have access to me like all the while like all the time the therapy goes on usually therapies last very long some last for 2 months 3 months 5 months so imagine you get access like you can message me any time and according to the time zone i reply to people and you know all of you know you guys live in a world where there are so many therapists and so many people who just going to give you medicines and pills and you'll never get access to them the fees that are charged for therapy is really less for the access you get to me you know that's the thing cuz i don't mind being there for people but at the same time i have to complete my mission most people understand over here how important the mission is because mission gives us energy mission is the only thing that gives us energy it gives us charge it gives us strength courage love and we feel like doing this work somebody who's not in a mission will get tired very soon would not be able to make money the root chakra will not get balanced the sacral will not get healed there will not be confidence anymore but the mission will keep you on your toes all the time and my goal is to help people heal so much that eventually they reach to the point where they are completely mission oriented after five or six therapies a therapist also wants you know like they've done all the therapies now they should be on the mission and seeing your student or your client become positive become independent is priceless it is extremely satisfying to see a person actually living their true potential and enjoying the twin flame energies that god has blessed them with all right so on this note i'll see you soon in another one just don't share your twin flame journey in advance with me this is a disclaimer that i have to give one love and peace out